Welcome back to Fallout 4. On the PC, this is uh, Candy. And this is Candy's Commonwealth. Yeah, unfortunately, the last episode got lost. I don't know if it was something I did. Um, it was probably something I did. Um, the recording got lost, the upload got lost, everything just got lost. So, this should have been episode 5, but it's not. It's episode 4 all over again. And I do apologize for that. I'll try to catch you up. Um, I really didn't do much, basically just a lot of miscellaneous quests. And I still have more of them to do. Um, but I think today, Um, we'll go over to, um, Cabot House, and start those line of quest, that line of quest, that quest line. Um, and now I've kind of was scheduled for the channel, um, it's not really kind of fixed, but it's going to consist of one or two streams from my own personal put together collection of Fallout 4. Well, at least one stream from the Story Wealth mod collection. At least one stream from the Adult Default mod collection. And Starfield. So that's going to be the plan for a little while, anyway. Anyway. We are going to go to Cabot House, which is right over there. Okay, we got Super Mutants. In the direction we have to go. But they're going away from me. Take the ammo. I'm always going to take the ammo. There's the sentry bot. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. I'm over here. Sounds good. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. 
He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? I nabbed a mini-nuke the last time I was in here. Might be why Deacons never asked me back. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time? Don't interrupt me. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Uh. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. We've already I'm found a space. Oh, actually, saucers, we probably little green men. have it I'm with this character, about but. The history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. One of these days I'm going to have to come here with a key and just break in and see what happens. Come on. Hey, 
Got a moment? I always have a moment. Sure. Let's talk. Thanks. I just wanted to talk a bit. About stuff. Nothing crazy. So, I wanted to say, thanks for agreeing with my insane idea of going everywhere so I can mark the places. I know it's really crazy, but I like doing that. I know that maps were preserved in some places, but try to say that it's completely safe out there. The Death Claws, tribes, factions, raiders, it's no different from back home. Or in the Boneyard. Although it is better there. Plus, I get to explore and find historical places. Things that we lost 200 years ago. Let me ask you a question. How did you get that pit boy? I'm from Vault 111. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I remember reading that all Vault users were given a pit boy. Well, I have my own fair share of adventures. I remember one time I was exploring a place called Sierra Madre. Or trying to. You see, the place was, and is, a real mystery. The legend says that tons of gold are inside, and it's also a casino. Quite fitting for And games. if you played but Fallout, to, uh, Fallout if you played Fallout New Vegas, disappear completely. you would be familiar with this story, which I think it. Ellen was so one day, me and may have been in that. I never played it all the way through, so I don't know. Full of signs of Sierra Madre. A legitimately creepy place. Then I decided to return, only that they wanted the treasure and tried to make me go with them. Well, I shot one of them, non lethally of course, and ran as fast as my legs could carry me. One week later, they were all dead. Some of them lost their heads. I'm guessing someone put a bomb on their neck, because it has a clean decapitation. Real gross. That was back in 80. I don't remember exactly which month. Been traveling alone ever since. Can't really trust anyone anymore. Gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. That's why I hate greedy people, I guess. Asking for more money is just an idiot concept to me. Getting killed over getting more caps? Please. Sorry for nagging you. Wanna explore a bit more? And thanks for listening. Sure. Alright, now... With that total distraction, I totally forgot where I was going. Um... Oh yeah! Up there. Oh, we might stop at the Museum of Witchcraft first. Oh my god, I'm a long ways away, huh? Uh, what's this over here? Yeah, I don't care about that one. In fact, let me uncheck that so we don't get confused. Um. Let me put a marker. We're going to head to the Museum of Witchcraft. I think we'll put the marker right here. Well, should we stop at Bunker Hill? It's a magazine there. I think we'll want. Mm -hmm. I have been here, I think. Raider. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Hope you like listening to whining caravan guards. This is Bunker Hill, right? Folks from Diamond City told me about it. I 
have given up trying to sell alternative medicine products to doctors. They think I'm a scam artist. Idiots. There we go. Plus 25% XP from persuading men. A good magazine to have. Now, instead of fighting my way all the way back down, let's just do this. Oh, hi! Except, I don't want to go here. Just so you know. Actually, that ain't the reason. Um, just so you know, I have, uh, I believe I have radiation turned off in water. Um, I think. Okay, um, remember my last episode, um, Ashley, my new character in Adult Default Bot set, trying to kill rad scorpions with basically nothing? We got a 51, and it's a full set of 51, so we'll come back here and grab that at some point. Bad idea picking a fight with us. Hmm. 
Yeah, we will explore other parts of this area another time. And we've got another 51 right here. Um, we will just take the fusion core. We'll come back. Actually, let's put a... Leave that mark there. And the straight on shot to the Museum of Witchcraft. Question is, is do I want it? That is the pump house right there, where the flame handgun is. I don't think I need it. We got an eye bot. more than a good overpass. Yeah, they're usually hiding up there somewhere. Yeah, we're still on the right track.
you're gonna come back. for me sure ask away well back in fort 113 as you know i was kind of a loner but i did have one friend lulu i suppose i should say lulu is a teddy bear it's silly but she helped me sleep guess it's pretty dumb for someone my age to be sleeping with a teddy but lulu was all i had keep talking I left Lulu in my room when we were evacuated. I dropped her. Before I could grab her, I was rushed to the door. I'm just asking. It would mean a lot if you could go get her for me. Of course I'll help you. Really? Oh, thank you. Now the problem is... Laura over there is going to ask me the same thing. But maybe she isn't yet, so... Okay, we're almost there. It's this way. So now we gotta go out to Vault 113 in the Glowing Sea. Um, which means I'll probably go back and grab that power armor. sound good. We should get inside, just in case. Um, just so you all know, um, this is exact. this is pretty much exactly what I did in part, in the, in the part that got lost, so. Be nice if someone would pick up where everything stopped after the war. Build and make things again? I'd kill for a brand new pair of shoes. I should give Heather some shoes. I could make her some shoes. Did you hear that? No, what I heard was a death claw. Um, yeah, there's a big old death claw in here.
Ah! That's fine. Oh, Major Jeffries. Hey, Jeffries. Wait a minute. Did he just eat Vex? Or she? Sorry, she, I guess. What? Where did Vex go? Is Vex dead? See, this is just basically on the way to Parsons anyway. Stole her damn kids. Like from a storybook. Christ. Maybe. Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? Moral of the story, kids. Don't cross a death claw. Yeah. So now we have right in between. So probably Hope you're all having a good weekend. It's Sunday for me. Hmm. 
Hmm. We got a traitor? Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Let's see what you've got. Oh, you've got ammo. Um, I don't really have anything on this character. I just picked up a carbine. Um, and an FNP9. Oh, yeah, I could buy some. If you have any of that, yeah, you will, though. Don't. Well, mm. thank you. Isn't it creepy? I can turn off the fog, but eh, why not? Why this makes it if it's done right, it makes it look great. And this is I won't say this is right per se, but it looks pretty good. Could it be better probably if I had a you know a great system and not a good system? Place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new girl. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. All right, let's go north. Then we'll head up to return the Deathclaw egg. Hmm. 
I used to be cynical, but I guess I've learned to accept people for who they are. Vex has got the glitch. It's all right. Nope, can't hit him yet. That should be all of them. Thank you, Bethesda, for allowing me to kill them. And still showing me where the tar quest target is. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. It's the first one I killed. the tower aim for the head I haven't done this on any of my previous playthroughs. So let me go you let me show everybody today. What the secret is of this tower. Looks like a place you defend from dragons, you know, like in a storybook. I always imagine dragons as death claws with wings. Man, that would suck. Wouldn't it? Flying death claws. Now. What the? Oh. Oh, there's a trap there I walk right through because I have full sneak on. Been up here in ages. Looks like someone got lost. Ah! Yep, someone's dead now. 
Okay. Now. This is really hard to do. Come on. To do it without, you know. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go down. the alpha are a big pain in the ass for traders. I think we're easy pickings. Now, we can take the back to Cabot's. Uh, and that's what happens. There's actually one Deathclaw left up there. Um, there's actually three of them that spawn there. And the higher your level, the higher the death claw spawns, so you could actually get three legendary death claws there if you're a high enough level. I am a level 16, so I'm not that high enough level. Your 
doors open. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No. So did you find out what happened to the is courier? And I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep just some raiders that ambushed Mother. him? Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. I don't think you're even listening. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Got it. Off to Good Neighbor then. Let's go. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm going to come back and do Amber here in a little bit, right after I'm through here. And then I have two other streams to do that I'm going to put out later this week. And then I got Starfield to do, and then I'm going to be done. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> well... Well, holy crap, that's new. Um, are we so just our hair's gonna fall out? I think she should get right up. That is something I've never had happen. And what the let's get out of here. Oh my god, I almost lost my life there. <laughs> All right, let's um fix my aid here. Um, let's take a, actually, let's take a doctor's bag, let's take a, oh, I've got a cook, um, where did I, I have no rataways. Oh, there they are. And all 
Are we all good? Okay. That should slowly get me back up to... All right, let's, um... Let's head over to the third rail. Oh, wait a minute, did I? Oh, there's another one I did here. Wait, hold on, I'll check when I get there. Um, another one I did in the, la in the episode that you didn't see was uh, Trouble Brewing. Did I actually? Oh, I got that far. So let's head over to the Rexford first and then we'll... Are you Laura too? Are huh? you? Don't have no handouts. Yeah, I don't need no handouts. Nice outfit though. Um A lot of the ghouls here are Diamond City rejects. Landed here after Diamond City kicked them out. There he is. So let's get this off our HUD. Come on, buddy. Hey, buddy. Please confirm delivery with hotel staff at this time. I will remain here. All right. Let's confirm the delivery. Did he not follow me in? Oh. Where is he? Oh, he's over here. Hey, I found a robot called the Drinking Buddy that was supposed to be delivered here. Are you serious? I've been looking for it for a while now. Didn't realize it was a robot. Let me take it off your hands. Hunter caps plus beer. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. Sure, we've got a deal. Great. Bring it on in, and I'll get your caps and my beer. For a hundred caps, I should probably keep them. Um, but, um, it's alright. I'll keep them the next time. Okay, you got balls. Alright, bud. Okay, let's head in. Boy, that sure is some loser we're having. Is this but thing? You can it's that growing machine I was telling you about. I am here to provide entertainment. Oh, and man. I That's awesome. I'm going to store my vodka. Just get it set up over at the bar and out of my door. Commencing normal operations. Greetings, buddy. Hey, Rufus. Hey, thanks for your help. Care to when your whistle? Here's or your do you require a lap? Uh, Do you know where I can find any more recipes? You might want to check with the distributor. Local bars and restaurants may also have one. Okay, thank Here you. Here for a clap, or did you want a cold beverage? No thanks. Okay. You like Buddy? He's cool. All right, let's go to the third rail. We just cleared another quest. Uh, 
How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I bet she's always warm. Sorry. Let's go in here. Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Well, we have three level ups, and oh, I'm already maxed out. Okay. Okay, I've got. I never want to go down here unless I got good. place to get a good drink. Good music, too. God, I love this song. Stay free, sister. Running from something? Welcome home. Did you come in just for the beer and cigarettes? A broken down drink got Chasing world is the girl to make you forget. So we're glad you dropped by. Come in, loosen up your tie. Have a drink or, or maybe just one more. But if you're searching for something. Emma Jean Cabot. I rings the bell. Trying to bar me. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal wants a word! Excuse me, miss. Well, what's the matter, sir? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I loved the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't worry. Let me get this. Hmm. I think I have a thought for you when I see you You're good with your words. You know, Magnolia's look could be easy to recreate. So and uh so what brings a woman like you to me? for a character i came here for the music <laughs> flatterer i think you and i are gonna get along so it's my turn to answer questions right what can i do um normally i'd flirt here but you know what i want to get on with it do you know imogene cabot imogene Sure, I know her. I haven't seen her. In a while. We'll come back and flirt with her later. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body, but he's looking after. Um. Please tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers were given the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. 
Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for imaging. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one imaging. Oh, by the way, the came. sound you're hearing is rain. Um, on the roof. On the metal roof. It's not my, not my recording. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher thing. All right, we will come back and talk to Magnolia again. Hey. Hey. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. Uh, nobody's gonna swipe my load. <clears throat> Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Yeah, I'm not bothering anybody. I'm just leaving. And the thing about it is, is when I get out here, it will probably be sunny. Or cloudy or whatever. No, it's still raining. A little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go find Imogene. We know where she's at. She's at the Charles View Amphitheater. So let's just get over there. And... This is where I think we'll end it. I'll get this uploaded like it should have been. There's this. Where is that? The Super Mutant, I think, is up there. I wonder what sort of shows happen in here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble you know how it is she's not seeing anybody until she cools off you're not holding her prisoner are you no she's not a prisoner she's just locked in her room until she calms down so she's a prisoner she was acting crazy threatening to run off no offense though, but you know how women can get sometimes. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. Well, you know why? It's because you guys are a bunch of wusses. All right, let's go. We'll wait for him over here.
Heads up. Things can get tough around here. I once turned the corner and ran into a death bot fighting a bunch of beauties. Must be Emma Jean. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? What, did you ask to be locked in here? No, of course not. I could have left whenever I chose. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. He actually thought it would force me to join his absurd cult. Um... I hope you don't need to say goodbye to your boyfriend. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides, he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. All right. So let's go back to Cabot House. And I think we're gonna call it good after I turn this in when we hear the next part of the next mission. And after I upload this, please tell me what you want me to do with the Cabots. Um, I can let their dad live um, and just, you know, let him live. Steal the serum for myself. Um, just to see if he shows up uh, again in the story somewhere. I've never actually let him live before. Um, or um, just kill him like I normally do. Um, let me know in the comments. And stay tuned for Amber. Excuse me for yawning. This is maddening. This place is too clean. Oh, oh my no. god, it's hard to switch over course. to the Hartley modulator. Guy. No bullshit. You copy. He's interesting. See now. How's this? Oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I've never seen raiders this. For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah, there's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Who are you again? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Amagene. She's fine. Oh, yes, good. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it 
could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these Raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack? Are you sure it's wise telling her all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced uh, anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Um. Then I guess we better make sure he doesn't get loose. Exactly right. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Okay, folks, that's it for candy, and hopefully this one will load correctly. Right now, thank you. Hopefully this one will load correctly, and I'll be back with the conclusion of the Cabot thing and other things eventually with candy. I don't know when that will be, as I am reshifting and retooling this channel to be more with Starfield and other mod collections so anyway thanks for watching this has been william aka i suck at video game 666 please subscribe to my channel i'd greatly appreciate it and have a fantastic rest of your day good night